Hello learners, myself Simran from Team Cloud EML and I welcome you all back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to see another SQL interview question and today's question is asked by the company LinkedIn. So let's begin. As always, let's first solve a small quiz question. So the question is, in how many categories data types has been classified in SQL? And these are the four options, two, three, four, five. So you have to tell that in how many categories has have the data types in SQL classified. Okay, if you know the answer, you can put it down in the comment section or else you can watch the video. Uh, we're going to discuss the answer to this question in the end. Okay, so let's move ahead with the interview question. Suppose you're given a table that shows job postings for all companies on the LinkedIn platform, write a query to get the number of companies that have posted duplicate job listings. Okay, so you are given a table that uh, that shows the job postings okay, that are posted by various companies on the LinkedIn profile and you have to write a query to get the number of companies that have posted the duplicate job listings. Okay, let's see a sample input. So this is the sample input where you have four columns, the job ID, company ID, title and description. So you can see these are the various job IDs. Job IDs are different than company IDs. And then you have the titles. You can see a uh, business analyst, business analyst is the same. Data analyst, data analyst is same. And then data engineer. So in this, the sample output will be one why because you can see that see company id 345 has posted the title data analyst two times which means it is a duplicate uh, job entry so that is why we have given the value as one because only one company has posted a duplicate job entry here you can see business analyst business analyst is also same but the company id is different which means uh, the company has not a uh, given duplicate entry. Different companies have given the same title. That is a lot. But you have to give the number of companies which are which have posted the duplicate entries. So here the company with the ID 345 has posted data analyst for two times. So that means it is a duplicate entry. So that is why we get the output as duplicate companies one. Okay, let's see how to solve this uh, in MySQL workbench. So this is my workbench. I've created this connection. And now first let's create a database. So create you can give any name to your database. Okay, so the database has been created. Now I have some queries uh, for the create and insert table. I will simply use this that is given in the sample input. So you can see this is the entire description and the table which has four columns. Just select and run. So you see the table has been created. Let's just view the table once from job listings. Select and run. So you see this is the table okay we have the companies company id job id title and description okay now let's see with the query so what we're going to do is we're going to use the concept of cte to solve this query okay cte is nothing but common table expression it is a form of temporary table in sql you can use it to create a temporary table in the runtime itself and you can refer that table only when the connection is on okay uh, this table doesn't get stored in the schema okay it is just temporary table so uh, the keyword used is with to create the temporary table and the name that we give to this temp table is group jobs group as so what we're going to put in this temporary table is select company ID. You're going to put the company ID, the title, the description, and the count of job ID. 
description and count of job underscore id as job count okay the column name for this we are giving is job count from job listings which is the table name now group by what we what will be the common column that we will consider is the company id why because we want the count of titles for each company and if the count will be greater than 1, then it will be a duplicate entry. Okay, this is a simple logic that, that we are going to use. We are simply going to count the uh, job IDs. Okay, the job IDs we are going to count. Okay, and we are going to group it by the company ID. The companies that have uh, more than one duplicate entry will be uh, considered. Group by company underscore ID comma title comma description so we are going to consider all the three parameters uh, for grouping by why because you can see that uh, company id based on company id only not we can decide it because same company id can have different titles and different description also but in our case what we want is the company id the title and the description all the three should be same then then only we can say that uh, it has given a duplicate uh, job listing okay that is why we we are grouping it by company id title and description and we are calculating the count of job id we are just calculating the count to understand that how many uh, number of job titles they have posted now after creating the ct we'll be selecting the distinct uh, count of company id as duplicate companies so select count of distinct company id as duplicate company which is our output as duplicate companies from job grouped here jobs grouped is the temporary table that we have created above where now this is an important condition where job count is greater than 1. This sentence will decide whether uh, whether our company is duplicate or not. Okay, Whether the entry is duplicate or not will be decided by this sentence because it is considering only the job counts which are greater than 1. Which means there are duplicate counts. So first let's run this and then I'll explain it to you in detail run so you see we are getting the output as 1 which is our expected output so what this width is doing is it is calculating the count of job id for each company id title and description okay let's see exactly what it is what it is calculating the company id It is selecting the company ID, the title and the description and also with it, it is calculating the count of job ID. Okay, all this it is doing from the job listings table. So let's refer the job listings table over here. This is the table. So for each company ID, for each title, for each description, it is calculating the count. So suppose the company ID here, first company ID is 827 as we saw in the table. Next business analyst, let's, I'll write it as BA and whatever description it has. And here if you see the count, it is only one. Okay, the count is only one because no any other a record is not present in this form so the count is 1 similarly next combination that we have is 845 BA the description and then the count so this is the 845 BA which is business analyst description count here is also 1 similarly we have 345 data analyst and the description 
थ्री फोर फाइव डेटा एनालिस्ट द डिस्क्रिप्शन बट यर फॉर दिस सिमिलर रिकॉर्ड द काउंट इज टू बिकॉज द नेक्स्ट रो ऑल्सो हैज टू ऑल्सो हैज द सेम डिस्क्रिप्शन द सेम टाइटल एंड द सेम कंपनी आई डी सो यर द काउंट ऑफ जॉब आई डी विल बी टू बिकॉज टू जॉब आई डीज आर प्रेजेंट फॉर दिस रिकॉर्ड सो नाउ यर द काउंट विल बी टू एंड द नेक्स्ट यूनिक ग्रुप विल बी टू फोर फोर डेटा इंजीनियर एंड इट्स डिस्क्रिप्शन यर वी हैव टू फोर फोर डेटा इंजीनियर डिस्क्रिप्शन फॉर दिस रिकॉर्ड द काउंट विल बी वन because only one job id is present with this record next what it will do is this will ex extract the count of distinct uh, company ids okay so it is just selecting uh, the count of distinct company ids at as duplicate companies so these are the company ids that two distinct uh, and for which condition for which the count or the job count is greater than 1 this is the job count correct checking the condition this is equal to 1 equal to 1 this is greater than 2 and equal to 1 so it will consider only this company id and count if you hadn't put count over here it would simply display 3 4 5 but you have put count so it will display 1 because only one company id is satisfying the condition given so you get the output as uh, one and the com uh, the column name is duplicate companies distinct company id and count here if you have only put distinct company id c i've removed uh, the count so let's see what we get the, as the output you you see we get 3 4 5 as the output which is the company id but what we want we want the number of companies that i have duplicate entries so for that we use the count function to get the number of companies okay so this was the solution to this question i hope you've understood this solution and if you have any doubts regarding to this solution you can put it down in the comment section or else if, if you have any alternate solution then you can also put it down in the comment section okay so after solving this question let's get back to our quiz question so the answer to this question that is how many categories data types have been classified in sql is 3 there are three categories okay first uh, which is character then uh we have uh, numbers which is numeric and then we have a uh, boolean data type okay so there are three categories of uh, data types in sql so thank you for watching this video uh, if you have liked it then share it to your friends and also subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet thank you